it's Hannah and welcome back to the Cowgirl Museum Craft Corral. Today we are making crafts inspired by cattle drives, but maybe not in the way that you think. So cattle drives became very, very popular after the Civil War because there was an absolute surplus of cattle down in the south and not a lot of cattle up north. So cattlemen and cowboys would round up these excess cattle on Texas and ride them up to Kansas. Now, cowboys were not the only ones to go on these cattle drives. We actually have a cowgirl honoree named Lizzie Johnson, and she is known as the Cattle Queen of Texas. And she was one of the first women to put together a cattle brand all of her own and travel up the Chisholm Trail here in Fort Worth to Kansas. Now, what was important during these cattle drives is yes, it was hard, grueling work, but at the end of the day, you would gather around a campfire and relax, eat, and play music for entertainment. So we are going to make instruments of our own. We are making a mason jar lid banjo and a popsicle stick harmonica. Okay, if you want to make these, stay tuned. To get started with our mason jar lid banjo, you're going to need any lid. This came from a candle mason jar, but you can use any lid you have, a pickle jar, whatever you have. You'll need some rubber bands that are pretty small so they don't stretch too wide around the mason jar lid. You'll need a popsicle stick. I have a wide popsicle stick here, whatever you have available. To decorate, you can use whatever you have. I just have some glue to attach my rhinestones. I have some washi tape. You can use whatever you have. You'll need some sort of tape. Now, I have blue tape and double-sided tape. I would also recommend duct tape, but I don't have that available to me right now. And you'll need some scissors. To start stringing my banjo together, quite literally, I'm going to just put rubber bands around my mason jar lid. Now they're going to have a tendency to pop off, and that's okay, quite like that. That's why we have tape. You could easily just use scotch tape that isn't double-sided. That would work just as good. You could use duct tape to hold it all together. I have blue tape, which isn't that sticky, which is why I am incorporating my double-sided tape. Okay, so there are my rubber bands. You can see they're pretty well spaced. So what I'm going to do to hold them together is I'm gonna put on another piece of double-sided tape so they don't go anywhere, press it down, and then go over so I don't keep sticking myself with some blue tape. Give it a little strum. It's a good bassy banjo to me. And now we can start decorating. It's time to decorate and construct our banjo. So my popsicle stick is a little long, so I'm gonna give it a bit of a trim. Now with craft sticks, they are really easy to cut. Just be careful it doesn't break in two. There we go. Easy. And that seems, yeah, that's a better length. So what I'm going to do here is make some fretboards with some washi tape and then add my little tuning knobs up at the top with some sequins and some glue. I'm just going to, I like to add my tuning knob sequins first, just so I don't put the washi tape up too high and then I don't have room for my knobs. Just going to place that there. I'm just using Elmer's glue. You could use craft glue that might stick better. Also, go ahead and use that double-sided tape we have. Okay, those are gonna dry down and look great. So let's see. We've got a little bit of fretboard that we need to add. If you don't have washi tape, that is so fine. You can use markers, you can use tissue paper like we had used in our previous craft to make our marionette doll. It is whatever you want to do. I'm just going to make a pattern here. 
Now washi tape is very easy to tear. So you can just wrap around and then give it a little rip. Easy peasy. Just gonna go up a little further. Now I would definitely play this banjo in real life. With the sequins and the stripes. Sounds like the best banjo ever. All right, I'm just going to continue my pattern up and we'll attach our banjo lid to our banjo. Now to attach our two pieces, I've put down a piece of double-sided tape and I'm just gonna stick it on. If you don't have double-sided tape, again, that's totally fine. You can just go over the back with some duct tape to make sure it stays while I'm jamming on my banjo. I'm going to put down some more double-sided tape on the back and a little bit more of blue tape just so we don't go anywhere. Now, if you're looking at the front and oops, you can see tape. That's totally fine. I'm just going to cut. And there we have our banjo. Totally playable, totally ready to serenade and have some songs uh, by a campfire. To make our popsicle stick harmonica, all you're going to need is two popsicle sticks, two smaller rubber bands, Two rubber bands that are wider and a little bit longer, long enough to go around your popsicle stick. You need a piece of uh, paper, construction paper, printer paper, anything will work. I have a paper straw here. You could also use toothpicks. You could use a piece of bunched up paper, whatever works, whatever you have. And that's it. That's all you need to make a really fun instrument. Okay, let's get started. To make our popsicle stick harmonica, I've cut four little pieces of my paper straw and I've cut my paper down to about the width and the length of my popsicle stick. Now I'm going to wrap this rubber band lengthwise around my popsicle stick for both of them. Okay, and now I'm going to put these pieces of straw like this, not all the way to the end, but kind of in the middle. Where you put them will change the pitch of your harmonica, so play around with it and see what pitch you like best. I like it somewhere kind of towards the end but not all the way in the center, because that gets a little high pitch. Okay. Now these rubber bands are going to vibrate whenever we blow into them, but for an added noise, I'm going to add in a piece of paper. I find that that makes it a little more noisy. Now, if we did this, you could just pinch it and play because we're on the go, I'm going to add these rubber bands to the side. Make sure they're nice and tight. The tighter it is, the louder it's going to be, and the better the sound is going to be. Okay, y'all, we are finished and we have our mason jar lid banjos and we have our popsicle stick harmonicas and we are ready to play the day away. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a like and share on social media. And I hope to see you all again soon for another Craft Corral.